Jonathan is uh, next. He's on the line, and I don't know how to say this. I usually am pretty good, but is it Massillon, Ohio? Massillon? Close to no cigar. It's Massillon. Hey, Leo, how Maslin. are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. Hey, uh, thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. What can I do for you? Not too, uh, not quite old enough to have my Captain Crunch whistle, but I do remember <laughs> uh, my Hayes compatible 1200 Bob modem. <laughs> the Captain Crunch whistle is, of course, famous in hacking annals because a guy named John Draper figured out you could use it to issue a 2600 hertz tone and reprogram the long distance phone equipment. Uh, and uh, it, he, of course, got the moniker Captain Crunch out of that. And uh, Captain's, Captain's still around with us. He's not in, he's not in great shape. He's got a bad back, and but he's a sweet guy. I always liked John. Uh, so you don't have your 2600 whistle, huh? No, no, too a little bit too too young. But I was <laughs> once kicked off of a, a bulletin board in Simi Valley because I was the only member logging on at twelve hundred baht instead of twenty four hundred. <laughs> like You're too board. slow for us. That's too not sorry. nice. That's rude. <laughs> Isn't it nice though that we don't have to do that anymore? I ran a two line bulletin board, and that was luxury. Back in the day, in the uh, mid-80s, two-line bulletin board. And they both had those 56K Hayes U.S. No, they weren't Hayes. They were U.S. Robotics. They were the best you could get. 56,000 bits per second. Terrible. What can I do for you? Quick question. Time to hand down an old... Um uh, Android tablet, old obsolete Android tablet. Yeah. What would you say is the Android equivalent of Dan's boot and nuke? Uh, that's a good question. Thank you. Uh, De Derek's boot and nuke is a really great program we recommend all the time, D-Band, for PCs. It's a Windows program that will wipe a disk, then write ones over it, then wipe it again, then write zeros over it, and do that a number of times to prohibit somebody from reading your disk. There's a couple of issues here. First of all, the solid state storage that's used on most computers now and all smartphones leaks information. You and so uh, uh, you can't really erase them. So there isn't going to be a D ban for uh, smart drives that really gives you the assurance that you've got everything. Just it's because of the wear leveling software that SSDs use. Um, or in flash memory as well in, uh, in, your, uh, ta in most tablets. So um, the, the notion that you could completely erase everything on that uh, system is uh, you've got to throw that away right now. So mm -hmm. I don't even, I, you know, here's what I do. It's too late, by the way, for you. When you get a new phone or tablet, immediately turn on hard drive encryption. All Android devices have this capability. Apple does it automatically, by the way. You don't have to worry if you have an iPad or iPhone. It is already encrypted. Then all you have to do is wipe, not wipe it, but reset it. And because it's been encrypted, there's just gobbledygook on the whole drive. No need to uh, fully erase it because there's nothing they can do with it. It's, it's random. It appears to be random data. And unless they log in as you, which they can't because you've wiped it, nobody can use it. So my advice going forward for everybody is turn on, if you're using Android, turn on disk encryption. If you're on an iPhone or iPad, you don't have to worry about it. Apple does that. In fact, when you log in or, you know, turn on your iPhone, it unencrypts stuff. And that's why they really want you to use a, a, a little, you know, code, a password to unlock it. Uh, the uh, Android phone will say, if you want to use encryption, you'll now, from now on, have to use a PIN to unlock your Android device. Uh, it's worth it. Do it. Uh, if you buy a Nexus 6, by the way, and Google got some heat for this, but I think they did the right thing, they're already encrypted, just like the iPhones. Now, what can you do with your existing device? Nothing. You should wipe it. You know, do that. It's in the system settings. Uh, erase it. Make it like it came from the factory. Mm. Um, but there's no guarantee that some data can't, won't leak through because you cannot write to every cell. You can't say, erase this cell. Uh -huh. It's the way SSD works, unfortunately. Thank you. That's awesome. Isn't that weird? I'm glad you asked, though. Uh, I don't think it's commonly known. Uh, and most people, you know, what is on your phone, really? I mean, it's, well, I guess my bank accounts, password, social security numbers, all the people I know, phone numbers for very famous people like Steve Wozniak, stuff like that. Eh, who cares? I always turn on encryption before I start. 
Okay. Now, most of the time, not much is going to leak through. Uh, the reason is you can't, on a hard drive, you can say, overwrite sector one, now overwrite sector two, now overwrite sector three, now erase sector one, sector two, sector three. You can directly address the drive. You cannot do that on SSD because they have software in there to keep you from wearing it out. So it handles where stuff gets stored. There's no way to give it a command that says go sector by sector and erase everything. You just can't. Um, however, I would guess if you ran the reset command in the settings, wiped all the data, best actually the best way to do this, and all Android devices will support this, you can Google it for your particular Android device, is to get into the recovery mode. Usually it involves turning it all the way off, then turning it on while pressing, I think it's, is it volume up? and the home button at the same time. You'll have to look for your device. And that puts it into a mode you've never seen before where you can wipe the data cache, you can wipe the, the software, you can, you can get a little deeper and kind of have erased everything that's important. Stuff could still leak through if somebody's sophisticated enough to be able to get the SSD out of it and use hardware to address it and so forth.